On some breaking developments we are tracking for you right this minute, Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani has called Imran Khan, who is all set to become Pakistan's Prime Minister. Ghani has said both of them agreed to lay a new foundation for a prosperous future for both Afghanistan and Pakistan. But will Pakistan under Imran Khan stop destabilizing Afghanistan for its own geopolitical interests is uh, the immediate question that arises. As per the latest that's coming in, Afghanistan President Ashraf Ghani has spoken to Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan. Imran Khan is all set to become Pakistan's uh, Prime Minister. Beg your pardon. Uh, will Pakistan stop destabilizing Afghanistan? Though is the question that we're asking. Let's uh, go straight across to our correspondent Sadan Sibbal, who's joining us for more on that. What's the latest, Sadan? Uh, the Afghan president uh, has uh, called uh, Imran Khan and congratulated him on the victory in the parliamentary elections and uh, agreed to overcome the past and lay a new foundation for prosperous political, social and economic future. This is what he has tweeted and uh, given invitation to Imran Khan to visit Kabul. Remember, Afghanistan and Pakistan don't share very good ties. Afghanistan has been saying that it's state-sponsored terror from Pakistan that's destabilizing Afghanistan. So uh, Afghan president extending a hand of friendship and peace to uh, Pakistan. Question is, will Pakistan walk the talk? Will Pakistan under Imran Khan act on terror, especially state sponsorship of uh, terror? Remember, during the first uh, speech, the unofficial address to the country, Imran Khan uh, did not mention the word terror. He, of course, mentioned Afghanistan relationship with Afghanistan. He said that uh, he would like to have peace in Afghanistan. He said that he would like to have open borders uh, with Afghanistan so that people can come uh, from Pakistan to Afghanistan and Afghanistan to Pakistan. In last few years, we have seen there have been attempts of peace between Afghans, Afghans and the Pakistanis. There have been a group also which has been constituted. Interestingly, the Foreign Secretary of Pakistan was uh, in uh, Kabul when the elections were taking place in Pakistan. So that uh, uh, shows that how how both the tri uh, countries have been trying to talk uh, on peace, but the question of terror remains. Uh, interestingly, India has also reacted on Imran Khan. India yesterday said that India welcomes uh, the people of Pakistan, have their, their repose, their faith in democracy through general elections, and India desires prosperous and progressive Pakistan. Uh, at peace with its neighbors, but said that uh, uh, it hopes that the new government works constructively to develop a South Asia free of terror and violence. Terror and violence remains, uh, violence remains a key issue because both uh, has been emanating from Pakistan and it's just not the Afghans, but Indians also have suffered from the hands of Pakistanis, especially state sponsorship of terror. So, uh, so Pakistan under uh, Imran Khan right. is uh, going right. to be a new, a naya Pakistan, a new Pakistan. But the question is, will Imran Khan act on terror? Indeed, uh, President Ashraf Ghani is sounding optimistic, saying that uh, the two countries have agreed to overcome the past. There uh, remains to be seen what exactly that means. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Sidhan Sibyl, thanks very much.